Hello everybody. Hope you're having a fantastic day today. Thank you so much for checking out my video. Today I'm going to be covering how to get the Enclave Plasma Flamer. Now I won't really be talking too much about the rifle part of this gun that you can use as well. This is going to be dedicated to the Flamer mod and how to get it because it is one of the most powerful weapons in the game. Now, I just wanted to show you how much damage it can do as well. You can see what it's doing to a behemoth here. It's absolutely destroying it. And this is only a vampire's uh, legendary effect that I have on this gun. Um, say you were a bloodied build and you had this weapon and you got a bloodied roll on it, you'd be doing way more damage than I'm showing right here. And I just want to keep in mind too or tell you that this flamer mod on this weapon is affected by the rifleman perks not the commando perks so if you do find or start using this weapon or you have been using this weapon make sure you're using the rifleman perks not the commando perks and i just want to you know we're going to point out some stuff here too that you may not know about it so the regular plasma rifle can be you know you can learn the plans from you know scrapping it while the Enclave Plasma Gun can only be found as a loose mod and the box mods as well. You can't learn any plans from scrapping them. The Prime Enclave Gun Receiver is the only thing that can be learned, and you can get that from Scorch Beast or the Scorch Beast Queen. And only a select number of the mods for this weapon are attainable as loose mods. Like we're talking about right now, the Aligned Flamer Barrel, which I'm going to show you how to find as well. And, of course, if you want to find these other mods, if you want to just use this weapon as a rifle, um, maybe an automatic rifle or a semi-automatic rifle. But like I said, this video is dedicated to the Flamer Barrel. So compared to the normal plasma gun, which I'm going to show you right here, it has like a yellowish in it. And the Enclave is more of a silver blue, which I'm going to show later on. But the Enclave variant deals increased damage and is slightly more accurate. Mods for this gun can be difficult to obtain unless you're going for the prime capacitor like we talked about. And it can only be received from quest rewards or other uh, missions which I'm going to show. Some mods do not appear in the game at all. The vast majority of mods are only obtainable like I said and can be put on after you found them from doing events which I'm going to show or finding loose mods like going to the shopping plasma that I'm showing right here. And just keep in mind this is extremely extremely rare chance that you will find one of these box mods. So you just want to go up to these vendors and then under mods you'll look for Enclave plasma flamer mod i think it would be called and the odds of finding one is just ridiculous and you can also find one at the watoga station from the vendor bot there as well they have the chance to drop it but like i said the odds of that is just not too good and not to mention there's tons of other people trying to do this as well now, shout out to Icefire DH. Thank you so much for this little uh, way to farm it if you want it to do it this way as I was just showing. So you may want to come back to the video and watch that and that's a good way on how to farm it, but it is a little bit tedious. Now, besides the mod, if you want to just get the gun, you can come to the White Springs bunker here that I'm showing and then they will sell them once you get inside and I'm going to show you where to go. So yeah, again, you can get this gun dropped with the flamer mod on it or maybe a different mod that you're looking for but like i again you can't scrap this weapon and learn the mods you literally have to go around and find the box mods luckily or get the weapon to drop with the mods on it that you like so once you're in the bunker here and you go to the elevator like i just showed you're going to just come over here and you're going to come up to this terminal and this is where you'll be able to buy the rifle Keeping in mind all that you can add on to it is the prime capacitor. So if you don't get an automatic one like I'm showing here and you're looking for an automatic one, then you don't want to buy it. You want to wait until you can find an automatic one. So just if you want to go grab one. Another way to farm these weapons is to come over to this transmission station here that I'm showing here. Now you need to have the Brotherhood quest line finished, so just keep that in mind. And then you'll be able to come over to this area. And it is a little bit of a run through here to get to where you want to go. 
but I'm going to show you a sped up version on how to get through here because it is probably very easy to get lost. I ran through here pretty quickly to be honest, so, but I've played a lot of Fallout. I kind of had maybe a little bit of intuition on where to go. So like I said, it is, you know, it is a little bit tricky coming through here. There's tons of enemies, also keep that in mind, like there's a Deathclaw, there's a Mothman. Um, so just make sure you have a bit of ammo before you come in here if you're going to do this. But I do want to point out that I have heard, I'm not 100% if it's true, so maybe people can let me know in the comments. Um, I've heard that you cannot get the red dot sight on this, or sorry, you cannot get this weapon to drop with the red dot sight which i'm going to show you that's the point of you coming in here because there's an enemy that drops these guns um but like i said i've heard that he will not drop the red dot sight on it which i heard is better for vats i think it costs less action points to vats enemies i could be wrong let me know in the comments this has been a learning curve today actually just trying to make this video and i did try to get as much knowledge as i could but there's so many opinions and i've heard so many things so again pay attention to the comments everybody there's a lot of knowledgeable people that watch the channel as well and there's maybe some things that i missed but just keeping in mind that you might not be able to get the red dot sight from this drop which i'm going to show and there's an enemy basically in a power armor i think that we're going to get to here shortly once you get to this room, you're getting close. Lot of enemies coming through here. If you're a seasoned player, trust me, you won't have any, you know, trouble getting through here. And we're almost there. You can see why I sped it up. This is, uh, you know, a little bit of a run here. <laughs> Okay, so you're going to get to this room, and then you're going to find this enemy over here. Yeah, he's in a power armor. So once you kill him, he has, you know, the chance to drop one of these rifles as well. Um, hopefully one of the ones you want. Maybe you're not looking for one with the red dot sight, but I think that is a particular mod that you do want to go for this weapon. Again, because like I said, it... Uh, it's better for the action points, I think. I could be wrong. I think it, it costs less action points, or maybe the hit chance is better. It's something like that. It is definitely better to have it than not to have it. And as you can see here, I just got a recoil compensated Enclave Plasma Rifle. I didn't get the Flamer. So, and I just want to say, I think the best way to get this weapon, because you can get it from doing this event, and it's an Enclave event, particularly dropped connection you're looking for. Now, this event can drop the weapons as well. I think it can even drop the box mod for the Flamer, but I know for sure that it can drop the rifle with the Flamer mod on it. And I've heard this is the best way to do it. This event is always going on so just keep an eye out for it if you want this weapon the enclave event dropped connection and when you complete it see i got a short enclave plasma pistol but that's not what i want it you want the uh, aligned flamer barrel on it and again like i said earlier make sure you have the rifleman perks on for this weapon and that's pretty much it, everybody. Um, you know, I wish you the best of luck trying to find this mod or the weapon with the mod already on it. This weapon is insanely powerful. And again, you know, I'm sending you some good luck. Hopefully you guys get one or you already have one. Let me know in the comments. And again, thank you so much for all the support on the channel and watching my videos. Have a great day, everybody.